In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to scrape Yelp. Now you may ask, why would I need to scrape Yelp? I get all the same information off Google Maps. Well, here's the special trick that we're doing today. Basically, on Yelp, there's a paid feature where you can add a video, and there's some other things, but we're mainly looking at the video because if they made a video, as well as paying for the premium version of Yelp, they must have a big marketing budget, which means they're most likely to want to use our services because they already have the, the funds to do it. So I'm going to show you how you can scrape all of those listings that have huge marketing budgets. So if you notice in the URL bar, the search bar for Google, I put in quotations, watch video, plus the niche, and then site colon yelp.com. So here we are. We're now going to use data miner and scrape. And we're going to click get search results, get all links, and we're going to click start. And so we're just going to let this run. And so basically what we're doing is we're grabbing all of these links, and then we're going to take it into the next tool, import.io, and scrape for the name of the business and the website, because the website is where we're going to find their email address, like I've shown in previous tutorials. So we'll let this run for another round. And let's go back over here. Okay. Let's press stop. All right. So we're going to copy it. We're going to bring it into our Google Sheets listing. Okay. Um, pretty much we don't really need any of this other stuff because we only need this spot right here. So we're going to grab it. And we're going to go into import.io and create a template for this. And I'm going to show you what spots we're going to scrape. And what's cool about import.io What's cool about import.io is that it lets you just click on what you want to scrape. You don't have to know any coding. And someone like me, it's, been, it's too hard for me to even try to learn. All right, so let's click start over with an empty table. We're also going to go and click right here, click on advance. And we're going to click right here, and we're going to uncheck CSS. OK. So let's drag this over here. So we're going to want to have one for the name. And so we'll scroll down until we find. So at first, you may say, oh, this is the perfect one to scrape for the name. But I've noticed in the past, it doesn't pull every single one. The best one is right here. OK. Uh, we'll press no right here. OK. Add a column. And the next one is going to be website. And here, we will also click yes, because sometimes it doesn't include the whole URL if it's pretty long, but at least it'll be behind it, and we can pull from it later. And one last thing I like to do is sometimes some of these Yelp pages don't actually have a video, but for some reason they came up. So we're going to scrape that as well. And we're also going to create another column for watch video. Because once in a while, the listings that we scraped don't actually have a video, so it's better to do it now and eliminate the ones so that you know we don't get any emails back, people saying "F you," you know want to keep it focused. So it looks like we are good. Let's click Save, and we can ignore this. Skip once only. Save and run. Let's go back over here and grab the rest. And let's go into settings. Let's add the rest. Click save. Click run. And so basically, you want to write an email that says, Hey there, I checked out your video on Yelp. I really loved the storyline and um, just it really showed what type of business you are with good values. Well, anyway, 
you're probably only getting so many views on it because it's just on your Yelp. But if you brought that video over to Facebook and ran ads to it, you could generate a whole lot more leads. Let me show you. All right, so now we download it. Let's import this in. Upload. Downloads. Insert new sheet. Import. Okay. So there we have it. Looks like all of these were a watch a video. Let's first uh, freeze the row. It's always good to do. Okay, so now, um, the first thing we want to do is clean up the websites. So, it looks like they're pretty much all good, except for right here. So let's just delete that. Um, to be able to scrape, it needs to have HTTP colon forward slash. So let's add that in. So we're going to select all. We go to Power Tools, Text. And we're going to add HTTPE colon at the beginning. And let's also throw in the W. Boom. So there you have it. Just follow the previous tutorial on how to scrape all of these websites to get their emails. And now you'll be able to cold email businesses that actually have a decent budget to do marketing. Over and out.